I gotta get this shit figured out. Figured out. God, why isn't it working? And if you have a really good advertising strategy, you can sell more stuff and so your, your company becomes more successful. But you're not outwardly thinking or even inwardly thinking. You're going to make more slaves. You're going to make people that are forced into this well, sort of consumeristic society and well, forced were, into this world oh, where you're living every day just to buy new stuff and just to get Joe Rogan, stuff. shut up. Oh. This is not happening. Why is this happening? Uh. Testicle. Testicle. Use. Testicle, testicle, testicle. Oh no! God damn. This is a ba ba ba. Hello? Hello? Fuck! Oh, this is... This is stupid! <laughs> Grandma's in the kitchen again. Grandma's in the kitchen again. Grandma, Grandma. Oh, I smell like Grandma. Okay, what the fuck did I do last time? Oh, what's going on now? Oh, no. It's pretty much 7 o'clock and I haven't got the fucking audio working yet. Great! Hold on a second. I think it's working on the live stream. It looks like it is. Oh my god, it's 7 o'clock. Oh! <coughs> Having a little technical difficulties, if you can hear. Um, trying to get this shit working. Oh! This is redonkulous. This happens every single time. Every. Single. Time. Every time. Wow, why doesn't it... I cannot believe this. I don't know what to do. Gosh, this is so aggravating. Oh. Is this going to work? Test, test, test. Damn, bitch. Chest, chest, chest. Chest, chest. Oh, this is baloney. This is fucking baloney! Rock, paper, scissors. Cock, schmaker, schmizzers. Sniggers, sniggers. I didn't say what you think I said. Oh, this is stupid! Great podcast, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, it's just me fucking around with audio. Oh, this is fucking fucked right up. It's totally fucked. Totally fucked. Oh, boy, oh, boy! 
What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? <sighs> Fuck. 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 <laughs> oh, this is such bullshit. I don't know. What did I do differently? Reginald Jackson. Can you hear me now, Reginald? Reginald Jackson, coming in. Reginald Jackson, can you hear me? On speaker file number five. Reginald Jackson, can you hear me now? Let me, if I take a look at uh, OBS, we are definitely, our media source is over. Okay, I'm going to transition. Hello, folks! How's she going? How's she going? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Can't get this bitch recording. It's working for the live stream. I love the static, though. It's my favorite part. Um... I'll never get that figured out. I, I don't know if this mic is garbage or this audio interface. It's a little bit of both. And it's piecing me off. It's piecing me right the hell off. Oh, so I'm going to be spending probably about a half hour trying to get this shit figured out. So bear with me. Buckingham Palace. Quit logic. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Who are you? I'm a bad boy, motherfucker. Sound effects. What do we got here? What the hell? Funk. That's not funky. Okay, what could I do? To change me and you What could I do? What could I do when you're gray and blue and gravy too? Gravy too. Okay, let me unplug. Unplug er thing. And then let me open her up. Now you're only listening to my fucking computer mic. What a great podcast. What a fucking great podcast, huh? Now I'm going to plug her in. I'm going to plug her in. And I'm going to say, use. Hello? God damn it! It's working for the live stream. Test, test. Oh, my throat is sore. I was singing like a hardcore ape. I was singing like an ape, my friend. Now I can't hear anything. Oh, I know why. Uh-huh, it might still work. Don't get your hopes down. I'm gonna go M audio for both. I'm gonna hit apply. What does that do? Nothing. Fucking nothing. Oh, this is garbage. This is absolute trash. This is trash. Gumbo. Who's Gumbo? Oh, okay, let me. This is this is insane. This is absolutely fucking insane. Is what it is. It's nothing else. Hey, what happened to? The the other media source. What the hell? This podcast is really boring. But luckily we're only seven minutes in. If I could just get this fucking audio figured out. It ain't gonna happen though. It was working yesterday. I swear. I'm so fucking hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. Let's see if I do this. 
Test, test, nothing. And now it's just nothing either way. Is it because of this? No. Oh. Great. Great. Fuck it. Forget the fucking audio. Forget it. Batman. I'm still trying to do some shit, so bear with me, please. That's the one right there. Okay, and then is there, is there a save? No. Who saves stuff? Not me. I'm not that guy. I don't save things sometimes. And guess what? Your computer crashes. Gotta start all over again. And this still isn't working. How fucking great is it? It's just so great. And it's so windy out right now. Oh, this is, this is blowing my mind. Wait a minute. Hello. Is that? No. That's not this. Hello. Hey! Yeah, it's, it's the fucking computer mic. You guys can't hear it, but I can. Welcome to the most boring podcast, if you are just joining, which I know you're not, because I know no one's listening. Okay, what if I do sound flur? Let's give Soundflower a shot. Y'all ever hear of Soundflower? I got a flower. And it's made of sound. Nothing. That wind sounds like voices. And it's creeping me out. Work. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck this. It was working yesterday. It, I swear to Jesus. Where's Garage Band? Where's the fucking garage of the band? Hallelujah. It's so fucking windy out and it's gonna start raining soon. We're gonna do choose. Choose a new project. I'm choosing one. I chose. What did I choose? Uh huh. Yeah, that's great. Preferences. Uh huh. Oh wow. Ooh, let's let's use M audio. Ooh. Does it work? Does it work? No, it doesn't. So fuck it. I can't believe this shit. This is why I don't use this fucking mic, man. It just refuses to work. Except. It's working on the live stream. So I guess that's good enough. Who cares? And I don't even know if it is working on the live stream. It looks like it is. Oh, say can you see by the... I'm not going to sing. It's really pissing... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, fuck! Uh-oh. I know what's going on. I think I just, I think I might have just solved the problem. And I'm not going to say what I did, because when you hear what I say, fuck! Uh, all that fucking around for nothing.
still nothing. Okay, let me see. No, 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 no. Test, test. Nah, nothing. Soundflower. Give me some soundflower. Soundflower! Roger, roger. Check one niner. Niner, niner. Outer, niner. Finer, biner. Okay, let me try this. Sacagawea? No, nothing. No, 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 no. Welcome to the boring podcast. Hello, test, test. Wow. This is such a puzzle. It's such a fucking puzzle. Ugh, I hate puzzles! Check one nine or nine. Fuck! What is your problem? You piece of shit. Oh, this is Bologna! This is Bologna! Okay, let me try. Uh huh, uh huh. Give me some of that booty. Give me some of that booty. Give me some of that booty, yeah. Create. Hello! Can you hear me? F fuck you! Get in there, you bastard. Hello. Uh huh. Um. News. Is there a test? Oh, fuck. What could be the problem? What really could be the problem? It's got to be something simple. No, it's nothing. It ain't nothing. There's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely, absolutely nothing. The only thing that I can do... <sighs> okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now there's no audio at all. Test, 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 test. Hold the phone here. Check one, two. Uh-oh. Hello? Hello? Oh no, what's going on now? Hello? Roger, roger. Macaroni salad, macaroni sa Okay, it seems to be working now. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. You be a good boy. You be good boy. Good boy. Okay, fuck it, fuck it. I'm saying fuck it. 17 minutes of absolute garbage. I could have been talking about stuff on my cards. Damn, boy! I'm never doing that shit again. Okay, ooh, we got some hot topics tonight. Let me tell you, some hot topics, brother. 
from a net of money. All right, so the first, the first line says, uh, Mr. Hotter, dash, boner. Do you know what a boner is, little boy? Little boy? Do you know what a boner is? For those just tuning in, the podcast is finally going in a direction that is suitable for any audience. Toddler to senior. And I believe it. I mean it. I'm going to teach your toddlers an important lesson with this story that I'm about to tell. So toddlers, get your ears wide open. Because I'm about to fuck your world up. Woohoo! Toddlers, kumbaya. Toddlers, bombaya. Toddlers, I got bacon and eggs. See, it's a smile. Because all you got to do is eat breakfast and smile a little. You want to know why? Because sometimes your audio equipment refuses to work. So your intro lasts a little bit longer and you get real pissed off. But you use that anger. You take her in and you expel her out into the world. Oh. My, uh, what do we got here? Hello? Should I have this turned up as well? Oh. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but I hope so. Let's hope. It looks like it. You're all, you were all probably watching the whole time saying, we can hear you. Why are you fucking around? Well, what I like to do is record my voice so I can upload to SoundCloud, but that's not happening. Well, I have to use the audio from my friggin' camera. And that's... My camera doesn't have a good microphone. So now I'm gonna have to start plugging a microphone into my camera. So I'm gonna have two mics. What the hell, man? Come on. Oh, well. So as I was saying, toddlers, listen up. Because uh, I'm about to tell the Mr. Hotter story. Uh, Mr. Hotter. Mr. Hotter was uh, my gym teacher from grade one all the way to grade six. Six! Six motherfuckers. This guy was me gym teacher. I think. I think it was that many years. Because I, I lived in a fairly small town in Novi Scotia. You know where that's at in Canada? Novi Scotia! That's how you pronounce her. No, I'm just kidding. I don't live there anymore. But I lived in a, a small, smallish city called Sydney, and went to a school called Ashby Elementary. And there wasn't an actual gym in the school, so all the kids would have to walk like a like a block or two to this gym slash stage slash church place. Huge gym, you know, gym floor with the gym patterns. The lines, the painted blue lines and shit, and the basketball nuts that come down. But they were the old-fashioned style where you had to crank it. You had to get the crank out there and give her. Not like these new schools where it's just a button, like a garage door opener. You even have the, the remotes. Pretty neat! I love technology. Because it's new. That's my pun on technology. Where was I? Mr. Hotter, right. So the teacher walks us to the gym. And drops us all off. And it's just... Our school was, was uh, kindergarten to grade six, and it was just one class of each. There was no 1A, 1B, 1C, none of that shit. It was just grade one, grade two. And, if you, and when we were in grade one, in grade one, we'd all walk to the gym with the teacher, like I said. The teacher would leave us there with Mr. Hodder, and then the teacher would go back to school, get some work done. And Mr. Hodder would just have us there in the gym. All right? And to us, he seemed like a cool gym teacher. Bam, ba, boom, ba, yay. His name was Mr. Hotter. We thought it was funny. We used to, like, make fun of him behind his back. Like, ooh, Mr. Hotter, you're so hot. <laughs> Shit like that. You know, we were young. And we didn't really uh, pay too much attention to what was going on. Just this uh, middle-aged gentleman. He was kind of short. He had curly hair. He kind of looked like... Uh, I can't remember his name, he's an actor, he played Hulk 
The Incredible Hulk. Oh, what the hell is his name? Ah! I almost fell over. It's... Oh. Mark, I think. Mark Ruffalo! Yeah, he looked like Mark Ruffalo, but a shorter version of Mark Ruffalo, okay? He looked pretty much like him. Mr. Hotter. This was our gym teacher. From, and, uh... So, you know, when we got around to grade five, we started to notice. So he'd have us, he'd have us sit in a circle in the middle of the gym floor, and he'd be explaining the games to us. Like, because when, you, when you're in gym class at that young of an age, is it? Okay. At that young of an age, you play, you play fun games like uh, Leapfrog and those carts that you roll on, those flat carts with the wheels and the parachute and... And uh, you, p you play games, I don't remember what they're called, you know, Red Rover shit like that. So he'd have to explain the game before we all played it. Because people forget. And you know. So, we I mean, usually had a different game every time we went. It was actually fun. Jim was really fun when we played games. And when we were sitting in the circle, don't you be giving me Facebook notifications. Anyway. Sitting around in the circle on the floor. I know I'm slow. He would walk around. His hands on his hips. He'd just walk around. And explain it. Explain it. And then he'd stop. And get, get a little bit into the crowd a bit. Into the circle. And then back up. And then, you know, like, uh, I never really noticed anything. But a few times after school, I'd hang out with some friends. And it was the girls who picked up on it. Me and my friend Jordan, who was a male, okay, we were hanging out with two of our friends who happened to be, be, be female. I'm not going to say their names. I don't know why. I just don't want to. <laughs> and uh, they mentioned, they're like, have you noticed Mr. Hodder's massive erection? His boner? They didn't say erection. They said boner. That was the word we used a lot. We... Boner was tossed around in elementary school. Boner! And my friend, uh, I'm not going to say his name, he called it a bony. He thought we were saying bony. And we went to a play once, and he was like, I got a bony. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and we started laughing. He was like, what, that's what you guys call it? I'm like, nah, bitch, it's a boner. So anyway, the girls mentioned it to me and Jordan. We're like, and we noticed. And then Jim the next day, we took a look. And he'd stand there with his hands on his hips. <laughs> walking around the circle. Around the outside of our circle. With a fucking erection. <laughs> oh, I got phlegm in my throat. <laughs> what a bad time to have phlegm in my throat. Oh. <laughs> uh. But yeah, he, uh, and I never really thought anything of it at the time. I just thought it was funny. It just made me laugh. It really made me laugh. But then I, uh, now, and I forgot about it for years. And I was just thinking back. And somehow it clicked in my head. I'm like, what the fuck? That's so fucked up. Like, is he still the gym teacher? And is he watching this? He had a fucking boner, like, every class. I couldn't believe it. He never did anything. I don't think. Not that I know of. That'd be crazy if he did. Damn. I spent the first 20 minutes of this video fucking around with audio. Can you believe it? I got a fidget cube. It was the first... This is the first fidget cube. The, not the very first, but it, it's a prototype. So, the joystick broke. This one. I, I got this way before, and I don't want to sound like a hipster, or, you know, but I got the fidget cube before it was a thing. Because around now is the fidget cube and this fidget spinnies are all the shit, and I've seen, like, at least ten videos in the past week in my subscriptions of people talking about fucking fidget cubes and or fidget spinners. And putting them as their thumbnail and in their uh, display picture. And I'm like, come on, it's not that fucking cool. It's like, I mean, yeah, they are pretty cool to have 
if you're a fidgeter, which I am a massive fucking fidgeter, and I think that's just a generational thing. Like, a lot of my generation are fidgety fucks for reasons that I don't want to get into, which I don't really know, but I have a feeling that it's just a generation thing. Bop, 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 bop. So let's get this card here. Ah, the asshole swirl is the next, is the next topic of discussion. The asshole swirl. Speaking of topic of discussion, before we get into the asshole swirl, um, look how loose this is. Does that bug you? That bugs the fuck out of me. Let me tighten it. Ah, baby! Ooh, that's better. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, good enough. Okay, I wanted to talk about something other than the asshole swirl. What did I just say? Oh yeah, the topic of discussion. I had, at one point, when I was younger, I was like 12 or 14 or something, I was gonna do, or I did for a little while, a little, a little series called Let's Rant. And I would always say, the topic of discussion today is... Blah, 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 blah. And I put on this stupid act. A few of the videos were kind of funny. Uh, you can obviously go check it out on my YouTube page. Dynamite Gizmo Films. Dynamite Gizmo! Because I jizz everywhere. Just kidding. I don't jizz everywhere. That's what you're thinking. So let's get into the asshole swirl. I don't like what I just did there. If I'm gonna point, you gotta point at the motherfuckers. Get your booty moving! Put these glasses on, because I uh, have two cameras to focus on at once, and it's very hard when you got eyeballs that only stay in one direction. So if I got the glasses on, nobody gives a crizap. You feel me? You feel me? And normally I would have facial hair, but I have to shave for a job or work. You know what work is? Y'all ever been on a job where you have to requirement to, is to shave because you have to put a respirator on if you need to evacuate because the air can kill you? That's the kind of job I'm in. What kind of job, you ask? Well, why don't you do some research because I'm not telling you. And you probably won't even find anything. Or maybe you will. Or maybe you won't. Or maybe you will! The asshole swirl. Gizmo! Gizmo needs to come in here for this story. Gizmo! Hey, Gizmo! Oi! She is dead asleep. She's dead asleep. I'm in a chair that's really old and it feels like it's gonna break. Okay, my thing is to keep people hanging on stories. I don't want you to think that I have wicked ass ADD and I keep straying from the story. That might be a little bit of what's going on, but I am purposefully not jumping right into the story so I can add a bit of suspense. So it's, you know, you, you, I don't want to just jump into a next topic. I want to kind of transition and flow. Go with the flow, you know what I'm saying? Why do we got to jump into everything? We're only 33 minutes in, and we're only on our. S Oops. Press the button. Cock in the shitter, fucking the tit. Vagina, vagina. Oh, please. Please stop texting for a second. Please. Guacamole and cheese. Guacamole. The asshole swirl. I'm getting text messages up the ass. Let me just put this on. Uh, Silent. Silent. How do you silent this bitch? Ah. That is how. I just fingered it out because I like to have fingers in my asshole. What? I'm just kidding. I don't like that. Gross! <laughs> the asshole swirl! When I was uh, two, I'm guessing two, this is a memory I had. When I think I was two years old, I'm assuming that I was really young. I don't think I could. Yes, I could talk. I definitely could talk. 
but I was quite young, was not in school yet, so I was either two, three, or four. But I, I could have been four, could have been three, I don't know. Two, three, or four. His memory, it was probably my first memory ever. Like Louis C.K. talks about his mem his first memory ever. He was mid sh I don't want, I just, I don't want to spoil the joke. Is that, that's a thing, isn't it? People talk about not spoiling comedians' jokes. I'm gonna do it anyway, cause I'm. Spoiler alert: mid shit is when, like this hardcore diarrhea shit, his brain clicked into action, and uh, that was his first memory. Was him diarrhea, shit, painfulness in his pants. I totally ruined that joke, and I apologize to Louis C.K. But go watch his shit. Oh, that sounded horrible. I wish I wish I would have. I should have just avoided the joke. So the asshole swirl. My first memory that I can recall is the asshole swirl. I was with my mother in a stroller. And she was with her friend. It was a nice sunny day, I remember. It was, it was a beautiful day. And her friend was having a conversation with my mom. And I was understanding the words. I didn't really, I had no idea what they were talking about but I knew they were talking and there was words involved because you're too young to, to make sense of, of what is actually being said like if they're talking about how stressful their job was and they're thinking about quitting or whatever as a baby you're like, ah, whoa they're talking what is that? I don't know what a job is and, and like you just don't get it, you know um, oh, that was a long pause so, blah, blah, so the asshole, she said, her friend said the word asshole in the sentence. Asshole. And I just remember hearing that. Asshole. It was so uh, definitive. It was like sh harsh. Like, asshole. That word stood right out to me for some reason. Because I had never heard it before. And I had to create what I thought the word was from absolutely nothing. I had nothing to reference. And so what I immediately thought of was like, well, it was a white and black spiral, like that hypnotic spiral, the white and black spiral, and it was spinning. And that came to my mind. That's what I thought an asshole was. And then since then, whenever I hear the word asshole, I automatically think of that black and white spiral. The asshole swirl. And that's what the asshole swirl is. Ta-da! It is so windy outside today. See how leggy is this? Oh, not very. It is super duper pooper scooper uh, windy outside. <laughs> I almost said leggy. It's so leggy outside. That's what people are going to start saying when it's windy as fuck. Or when we're all part of the singularity. It's laggy today. You go outside, it's not windy, because we control the weather. You go outside, it's laggy. You get bad internet connection. So you're walking all glitchy. Could you imagine? Life would be like an actual video game. Oh my gosh. Or if we were actually submersed in a virtual reality complete world where you were com mostly robotic in the brain and arms and you didn't have to eat, you got energy from the outlet in the wall and you had these go permanent goggles on and if you had a bad internet connection you couldn't go out in public you have to stay home because it would be too laggy to go outside <laughs> oh wow Maybe no one understands what I'm thinking. I'm not saying it's gonna happen. I'm just, it's just a thought. It's just a dumb, no, it's not a dumb thought. Nope, not a dumb thought, not a dumb trot pot. Scooper, pooper, scooper, pooper, scooper. I got my pooper scooper in my hand and I'm scooping your poop. I got my pooper scooper, I got my pooper scooper. My pooper scooper's in your hand, and I'm scooping up your poop. 
What's next? Frankie McDonald. Who knows about Frankie McDonald? He is also from my hometown of Sydney, Nova Scotia. Woo, 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 woo. And if you're on the internet and you may or may not come across Frankie McDonald, he has about a hundred. Uh, he has hundred thousand subscribers because he got the silver play button. Congrats, Frankie. He's this dude from Sydney, Nova Scotia, and you just see him around town all the time. He's got. I'm not sure if it's autism. I'm pretty sure it's autism. But it could be something else. But he makes these weather videos. And he's uh, he's letting people, he just lets people know about the weather and then he'll do these crazy ass, funny ass videos of them like eat, pretending to eat cheeseburgers and then getting eaten by a tiger. And it's pretty fucking hilarious. I laugh my ass off every time I watch it. And I'm not making fun of the guy. I just think it's funny. Maybe I am. Maybe that is me making fun of him. I don't know. I just think it's funny. If you saw it, go to Frankie McDonald's YouTube page and just watch one of his videos. They'll be titled like, Guy Eats 100 Cheeseburgers Then Gets Mauled by Tiger. Or, uh, <laughs> Guy Dan, <laughs> His Vampire Teeth Ones. Those are the best. You know what? Let me pull, let me pull one up. I can definitely pull one up. Let me just do that right now. Oh, hit the mic. You just gotta fuck around with this shit first. Okay. Hold on. Let me... Excuse me, microphone. I gotta go to YouTube. I gotta go to the tubes of the U. If you've ever been to YouTube! Shout out to YouTube. Shout out to boob too. Who likes boobs? I like boobs. I really like boobs. I like boobs. Frankie McDonald. Frankfurt and Sons, we're going to the moon today. Oh. Okay, here we go. Frankie McDonald. Oh, this, these headphones are hurting my ears! Unfortunately, the YouTube viewers are not going to be able to see. <laughs> but, the live viewers are going to be able to see FRANKIE MCDONALD! Frankie, Frankie, Frankie! Freaky Frank? Or maybe they won't, because my internet's too slow. Oh, no, yes, they probably will. Okay. Let's see if I can figure this out now. Oh, these are hurting my ears. This microphone smells good, baby. Baby, baby. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So, here we go. Let me just transition this. Here we go. Frankie McDonald. Uh, my internet's slow as fuck. Slow as fuck. Fucking slow. Come on, Frankie. This ain't gonna play. The playback doesn't begin shortly. Try restarting your device. Shut up. Yeah, I have, uh, it's because I'm live streaming. That's why. You can't live stream and show a Frankie McDonald video at the same time. What are you thinking, huh? You crazy? You gotta look that shit up yourself. I ain't your slave. You, yeah, you, yeah. West Side. I wish this mic would work, boy. I really, really wish. But it doesn't. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. It's a Chinese conspiracy. It doesn't work. 
Oh, maybe that was the problem. I'm just gonna try once more. I'm sorry. I know this is pissing everyone off. I'm just trying one final thing. I just gotta try one last thing. Ow, that's hurting my ears. Ow, that's hurting my ears. It sounds like somebody's scratching monkeys. Oh, what's with the high pitch? Oh, great. Yeah, just don't work. Just don't work at all. That's what I want. It's exactly what I want. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Couldn't tell you what the problem is. Couldn't tell you. Maybe I gotta restart my computer. I'm re I don't even know why I'm wearing these headphones. We got a lot of shit to go through, and we're only and we're 46 minutes in. This is gonna be a long one, so hang in there. Meditation and yoga. What do we got? What do we got? Meditation and yoga. You ever try it? If you haven't tried it, you gotta try it. You got to got to try it because it's cool and it works. It does something to you. You do yoga, you come out of it feeling like you just smoked a fat bowl of methamphetamine. Feels just like it. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! Scrunch! Let's see if I can figure out how to hear my voice. Ah, uh, you see what's happening here? I see what's happening here. I see. I see P. You see P? I see P. You guys know the insane clown posse? Oops. You guys juggalos? Do you juggle those hoes? Oh fuck, I fucked it up! Are you working? Damn it! So sorry, I fuck it up. I fuck it up. Test test. Fuck! What did I do? Test, 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 ow, my ears, oh, everyone's fucked, okay, okay, test, 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 cock in the shit or fuck in a tent, okay, it's working, <laughs> where does that come from, you ask, oh, don't, don't fuck with me, boys, shit, Okay. Don't touch the settings. Stop touching the settings. Kenny vs. Penny. Ever watch it? Good show. Used to love it. We're not talking about that, though. We're talking about meditation and yoga. Like I said, you try it, you'll feel a difference. Yoga, at least. Meditation, not. You gotta, that's something you gotta get used to. It's all about... Whenever, you know, you sit there and you say, oh, I always lose focus and my mind wanders. Well, that's good. The idea... When you realize... Your mind, mind's wandering. The act of you realizing that it's wandering is the first steps in meditating. As soon as you realize, you push it away. You say, oh, that's a thought. You make a mental note. And you pin it up there with a pin. And you go, that is anger. Well, I'll keep that over there. And then I'll come back to this state. Hum by Let's do a hum. Or an ohm. Just kidding. We're not doing that. Next, universe. I don't know why I wrote universe. Because I saw the latest video by First We Feast. Dump, dump, dump. It's a new and upcoming, the coolest meme channel. You know, it's all about eating spicy wings and answering questions. 
And Neil deGrasse Tyson was on this episode. He's one of my fave motherfucks and all the motherfucks. He's the coolest guy ever. He knows how to get down with it. He even said bitch. He called the guy a bitch. The bald guy, I forget his name. He's like, something, something, you bitch. I can't remember what he said. If you haven't seen it, you gotta check her. You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Cause bitches like me ain't bad for your health. Ice Cube, motherfucker. It's on that album right there. The greatest hits. That's not what it's originally from, obviously. And then we got a death certificate. And you know, do you know why it says Vice Sam on his uh, on his toe tag there? Me neither. I haven't looked it up yet. Uh, so the universe. Uh, the universe is pretty cool. I like to, I like the universe. What do you think of the universe, Baku? Buckaroo, you tell me about the universe. You tell me what you think about it, huh? You look out there, you can't even see it. Because we have so much goddamn light pollution. If we didn't have all the lights, we could see up in the skizai. And it would look cool. There's a place in Hawaii, you go to the mountaintop. You can see the fucking Milky Way. You can see it and it looks like, it looks like you're looking in a storybook. Or on a picture online. And why does it look so dark? Oh, I know why. No, I don't. Don't pretend like you know what's going on, JP. J to the Pizzy. That's right. If we had... What can we do about light pollution? Do you think in the future we're gonna have lights? That simply... Um do not affect uh, whatever it is light pollution is now like we'll have lights that still produce light but they don't cause the pollution so you can see the universe you can look up and see what you're supposed to see that's why the, the old motherfuckers back in the day were so obsessed with the universe because they could look up and see how cool it was like on my uh, outro, the background landscape. That's what you'd see if you'd look up certain nights. Maybe not that vibrant. But you'd see shit like that. You'd see it. We're supposed to be able to see it, but we can't. And I'm not blaming anyone. Because it's just the way we're heading. And maybe we'll eventually be able to, s to see what we're supposed to see again. We'll find a way. If, uh, unless we get hit by an asteroid. And then we're all fucked. And then guess what? Civilization is over. And it's going to start all over again. The monkeys that survived. I sound like Joe Rogan now. I'm saying, I'm sounding too much. But seriously though, the monkeys that are already here are going to evolve because they're already picking up what we're doing and that's what happened the uh, Mayans and the people who made the pyramids were just an advanced civilization and they were up there they were they had carvings of planes and shit they, they had ideas and they were on top of shit and they were all uh, they were you know they built the pyramids they knew what they were doing, they were smart, but then something happened. Probably an asteroid. Kaboom boom! <laughs> bye bye advanced civilization! Fuck you! Or an ice age. I can't remember. Or what am I saying? I can't remember. I wasn't there. But I'm not playing that card. I'm not playing that I wasn't there so I don't know card. I'm just saying. I'm trying to remember what I heard, what I read about, a possibility, okay? So people got wiped out, and monkeys had to rise up once again, and we did, uh, and now we're where we at now, and we're going to get wiped out again by something, global warming again is going to cause a massive ice melt 
and then massive flood, massive flizzard, and then uh, everyone's gonna drown. Parts of the world are gonna go underwater, just like uh, possibly that's what happened to Atlantis when that original civilization, that advanced civilization, flooded. That's uh, that's how they died, and that's why they're underwater. I don't know. Okay, don't take this for reals. I'm just saying stuff that comes to my mind. Because we had the topic of universe. And the next topic is elementary school memories. Whoops. Dropped it on the floor. Let me pick her up. Pick it up, pick it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. That was an old Viagra song. Get it up, just get it up. Come on and get it up. It only takes one shot. It only takes one pill. To get it up, get it up. Viagra's gonna get it up. Get your Viagra on. Get your Viagra on. Viagra, Viagra. Oh, Viagra. Niagara Falls. I want some Viagra Smalls. I made that song up. Elementary school memories. Well, every pro off from grade, well, kindergarten to, I said well like three times in a row. Well, well, well. Kindergarten to grade, I'd say at least grade four. First day of school, I cried like a motherfucker. And I don't care who knows. I hated school. I fucking hated it. Until I got into it. And then I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It ain't bad. It ain't that bad. Grade 7 was probably the best year of my life. But that's not what we're talking about. For some reason, I put elementary school memories. Ugh! Why did I put elementary school? It means I gotta talk about elementary school. What kind of memories do I have from elementary school? A lot, actually. Remember that Jordan fella? I was talking about... He wants, uh threw a swing at my other friend, hit him in the top of the head, and his head started bleeding. It was so crazy. It was like, it was the first time. I mean, I've seen blood as, as a kid before, but it was the first time I've seen someone's head bleed and it scared the hell out of me. I thought he was gonna die because a head injury was so serious. And you don't see head injuries too often, especially blood coming from the top of the head. Ah, oh, that's scary, he was crying. And he didn't cry very often. He was a tough mofo, but he cried. And he went home, and I kind of and I chased after Jordan. I was like, Jordan, you motherfucker! <laughs> and I chased him, but he ran away. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the, the the guy who got hit in the head. Uh, his name was Matt. I'm just gonna say his name was Matt. And he went home, and he got his head. He cleaned his head in the shower because that's what his dad told him. His dad didn't really. He's like, I'm not a big deal. Your head's just bleeding, mouth. Fuck, get in the shower. But his dad's not that kind of guy. His dad's like the chillest motherfucker I've ever seen. Like the chill, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. What other elementary school memories? Uh, well, there's that one, but I'm not gonna tell that one. Um, we used to play a game called Four Square. Okay. I don't know if anyone else in the world plays this. This might have just been a Nova Scotia thing. I have no idea. It was called Foursquare. So out in the play area, on the cement, on the on the grounds of of walkingness, you, you take chalk and you. Well, they're actually we had them painted on. That's how hardcore we were. It's a square, big big square that you could stand in, divided into four squares. Okay. But you, a person could stand in each square. And you would have to bounce the ball into another person's square. I, I do not remember the rules at all. I just remember that was like the idea. Bouncing, bouncing a basketball while you're standing in squares and passing it around. It was fun. It was really, really fun. Then you get kicked out and the last person in the square is the winner or something. Can't remember. But there was a lot of different variation variations of ways to play it. And we played hopscotch. That was more of a girl one. Because, I mean, now, the, the girl and boy thing are kind of merging. 
well, it's completely merging now, and you can't, you're not allowed to separate them, and I still don't know the rules. So, you know, but when I was in elementary school, there was girl activities, and there was boy activities. The girls would play hopscotch, and with bouncy ball, or, well, we both kind of play with bouncy balls. But they had their own thing going. And then we would play boy stuff, like Red Rover. Red Rover! That was a hardcore game. You'd stand and hold hands in a big lineup, and then you'd yell. And then there would be people on the other end, like far, far away, 100 meters away, foot, way farther. Okay, you know, you're all standing, and they, they, you sing Red Rover, Red Rover, James Muller, come over, and James, and James Muller's obviously on the other side, and then he would come running as fast as he can, and then he'd bolt into the arms, and then he'd try to break, break the chain, and if he broke the chain, he would go into the spot that he broke. If he didn't break the chain, he'd have, he'd have to go back to the Red Rover spot. And he just did that, he sang Red Rover, Red Rover, Macadamian come over, if he had a friend named Macadamian. <laughs> Which would be really weird. If I had, a, like that would be a good nickname for someone who was named Damien. I would call them Macadamian all the time. That's a good idea. Macadamian. Red Rover, Red Rover, Mozzarella cheese come over. That's too ridiculous. What do we got next? MP3 players. <laughs> I saw this on the Cass and G podcast, the one he posted yesterday on Thursday, because he posts every Thursday. And I can tell that he is actually uh, scripting his stuff. Absolutely. Which is not a big deal. I like the direction he's going. I think it's awesome. It's very creative. I like it. The reason I know it's scripted is because this episode, Peter was buried underground with a straw. Now, I guess that's not proof. But, doesn't necessarily, maybe, they could just be going with the flow. And they grab ideas and create ideas from, from whatever comes from the wave that they're creating. They're just going with it. And maybe it was a decision right before they started the podcast. They're like, okay, we're going to pretend you're buried in the ground, so we're going to stick a straw in the dirt. But they had him, they covered him in dirt, though, when he came back at the end of the episode. And plus they have these actors that know the situations that are going to happen. And then Dell made an appearance again after he kept saying how much he hated him, you know, he's not coming back. And this Dell thing keeps going back and forth. You can tell it's scripted, but I don't care. I like it. So anyway, he brought up MP3 players in his episode. And he said if anybody actually still uses an MP3 player, and then he, he was like, they probably give them away for, for free now. And that's true. Who the fuck uses an MP3 player? I never even thought about it until he mentioned it. I haven't even... That idea didn't even come to my mind. Nobody uses an MP3 player. They use their phone now. It used to be iPod or nothing. Or, even before that, it was MP3s for a while. But then it was some people, the cool people had iPods. But the casual people who didn't want to spend the money had MP3 players. And then it turned into, you had to get an iPod or you're a fucking loser if you have an MP3 player. If you have an MP3 player, you are a, a stupid Loser! What the hell's wrong with you? Just get an iPad. Get an iPod. Do not, like, you do not, and you don't want to associate yourself with someone with an MP3 player. That's how shitty they were. Remember Zune? Ew, gross. You have a Zune? Ew! <laughs> get that away from me! I don't like you! I have an iPod. I have a fucking iPod, man. I have an iPod Nano. I can watch videos in this little rectangle. You have a green screen with black letters. That's stupid. Suck my dick. <laughs> so that's my story on MP3 players. I actually had a few. I've had quite a few. 
I used to fill them up and then I'd have to save money I'd save money, coins, in a jar and I'd take the coins and cash them in for cash and I'd go walk all the way to Walmart which was like really far, I had to walk along the highway and I would buy a PC player that reminds me of a story, I used to walk all the way to Walmart on the, alongside the highway to go to Walmart to buy fucking hermit crabs I used to love hermit crabs and Walmart used to sell them they used to sell fish as well and frogs and turtles little ones and they sold hermit crabs and I used to buy them I'd just go there and buy them, they were so cheap and I had an awesome aquarium for them, I used to love reptiles when I was a kid I used to collect frogs, I had bearded dragon two bearded dragons I've had a leopard gecko. Uh, I've had a chameleon. What the fuck else did I have? Fro I said frogs. A shit ton of fish. I know I had another lizard. Can't remember what it was. The beer dragons are the best. Because they're not... They're fast, but they're, you can still catch them. And they're not... You know, they can't really squeeze into too many spaces. They're spiky and large. And they're friendly. I'm like, I hated the chameleon, or the, not the chameleon, the, the gecko. Way too fast. And they bite. And just gross when they shed. Ugh. Even though the, the beard dragon sheds too, but I don't know. And he eats it. Which is gross. I didn't like that part. Chameleon was really cool. I love chameleons and I want to get another one. But I want to get one that's actually more colorful, like the panther chameleon. Because I had a veiled chameleon, I think. But it got pregnant. And, it just, and I, fuck. Uh, There's no way I was going to have. Be, I wasn't prepared at all for it. And it ended up dying. I know, sorry, animal lovers. But it's dead. So, uh, yeah, that's my MP3 story. Saved up money, buy some hermit crabs. But I did buy MP3 players. I used to buy MP3 players because I'd fill them up because they'd be easy to fill up. Very easy. Sound quality was horrible, but it, who cared? Because I downloaded, we all downloaded music illegally anyway on iMesh and LimeWire. iMesh was so big for a while, so was LimeWire. You just illegally download everything. Movies. You know, you don't really see that anymore. You still do. But I know better than to do that. <sighs> now. Yes. Next question. Now, here's the thing. I write these prior, like days in advance. Whatever comes to my mind. And I'm sitting on the ta at the living room table. That's where these a stack of these sit. And an idea comes to mind, I write it down for the next episode I'm about to do. And sometimes I come into the studio and I say to myself, God damn, I don't want to talk about this. I know this is only the sixth episode. I'm talking like I've been doing this for years. But from these six episodes, I look at this question. And I'm like, I don't know, do I really want to talk about that? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to initiate a policy. Dynamite Gizmo podcast policy and that is if I write it on my list I'm just I have to talk about it. I'm not gonna skip it. Why skip it? I mean, what's the big deal? If I wrote it down, I obviously want to talk about it at that time So I'm gonna talk about everything even if I don't really want to and this next topic is who is your fave comedian? Um, I'm asking you guys you people watching. Who is your favorite comedian? For a while for me, it was Louis C.K. If you even like comedy. If you don't even like comedy, tell me why you don't like comedy. Because you're a piece of asshole. You're an asshole, Swirl. That's what you are. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, yeah, Louis C.K. I think he's probably still my favorite comedian. But I do like Richard Pryor. I kind of like Joe Rogan as a comedian. I like, I love him as a podcaster. 
I'm not sure if I'm 100% of him as a comedian. Uh, who else do I like? Uh, what the hell is his name? Mike Epps. I really like him. Some people don't like that black guy humor, but I like it. I think it's fucking hilarious. Well, uh, I don't know. There's other people I like. Louis C.K. is probably my favorite. How cliche, huh? He's like the number one comedian right now. <laughs> is that why I like him? I don't know. No, I liked him years ago. I liked him. Doug Benson, I like him too. Doug Benson? Benson? And, uh, Kasim G, even though he's technically a YouTuber. But I guess you could class him in the comedian category. That's what Wikipedia does. I am so goddamn hungry, I can't wait to eat. The last, ooh, the last topic is untied shoes. Another kind of a elementary school topic so basically well, what I was thinking about is that kid in your class who has the untied shoes or the kid who has his shoes on the opposite feet and untied as well and he just doesn't realize or he doesn't give a shit and that says a lot about their personality and who they're gonna grow up into uh, you look at a kid like that you're like, why are, you, why, why are your shoes on backwards? Doesn't it feel weird? And they're like, no, they're on right. And they don't even realize they're on the wrong feet. Maybe this is just me. But I've had experiences like that. Where kids have their... In elementary school, kids have their shoes on backwards. And they don't realize they're on backwards. They think they're on the right feet. Because they're just stupid. They're stupid kids. There's stupid kids out there. Kids who can't color inside the lines. I always colored inside the lines. Here's a story in kindergarten. I don't know how many days in, but my teacher was a biz itch. She was really old. Kindergarten, the year was 2000, okay? So she was probably used to beating kids with rulers. Because she used to drag kids by the ear. I have a, you think I'm, you probably think I'm lying. But she literally grabbed a kid by his ear and drug him out the door. I have a visual memory of that. Vivid, I mean. Very vivid. It's stuck in my head. Drug him out by his ear. And he was screaming, crying. But the kid was an asshole. But he still don't do that. I'm pretty sure she got fired. Not after that, but... Well after I left. But anyway... We would color all the time. And I was, uh, I sat next to a kid named RJ. And he was short as fuck. And he had a crush on a girl named something, I don't remember. But she had glasses, and RJ had glasses. And RJ had, there was something wrong with him. He was one of those kids, probably a lot of, uh... I'm not gonna name it, because I'm gonna offend someone. But he had something. He was super... I'm just gonna use ADHD felt like he had that. He was very hyper. Very hyper, and he seemed kind of stupid. And he had a crush on this girl, and she pretended to like him, and they used to kiss a lot, and he would take his shirt off in front of the class for her. Anyway, but he used to color like a maniac outside of the lines, like a motherfucker. Didn't give a fuck. And I would always be nice and elegant inside the lines. So in kindergarten, I did a little experiment. Because he sat next to me, and the teacher would come around, look at her drawings, and she'd go to RJ, and she'd say, Oh, very nice, RJ. Good job. You're doing better. Okay? And I'd look at it, and I'm only five. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's not... It's horrible. It's like, it, to me, it was horrible. And mine was so nice and neat. And she gave me a really good compliment and a sticker and shit. She gave him a sticker, too. Anyway, I didn't, it didn't really piss me off, but I just experimented. So the next day, when we had to color, I did the maniac coloring. I went like a maniac coloring, like him. And she came around, like, oh, good job, RJ. Mine looked just like RJ's, all fucked up. And she came to mine, and she's like, shocked. She's like, oh, what are you doing? You know better than that. You can do better than that. And obviously, she knew that, and I knew that. But I was super shocked. I was, 
my first kind of experience of this. I was like, why, why does RJ get praised for fucking up? But I don't get praised for fucking this up. And that was my first real experience of, well, if you give a good, you know, you can, uh, I'll give an example. Let's say you're at work. You're, you're a good employee, show up on time, show up early. You, you're not the last one to leave. You always refill the coffee machine. You always mop the floor. You're, you always have your paperwork on time. Everything's just perfect. And then the one time you fuck up, the one time you fuck up, everyone talks about it, and then that's what you're known for. You're known for that one fuck up. And so I was, the teacher saw me as a kid who knew had a color inside the lines. So this, but she saw RJ as a kid who did not know how to do that. So to him, improving was, meant nothing. She, I don't think, she was just praising him for nothing. But to me, I was, she saw a downgrade. And she probably knew I was trying to copy RJ because kids aren't hard to figure out when they do little experiments. You can figure it out, figure out what they're trying to do. So she probably thought to herself, oh, Justin's trying to copy RJ. And that's what I was doing. Well, I was just testing the waters, seeing what would happen. And I didn't like that water. So then I went right back to coloring normal again. I don't remember too much from kindergarten, but I remember that. And we didn't call it kindergarten, we called it grade primary. Mm hmm. And that's all I have on my list. That's it for episode six. Fuck this mic because it doesn't work. It only works when it wants to. <sighs> like I said, I was trying to record it, but it's not. It's working on the live stream. But not for the YouTube! Alright, that's it. Peace out, motherfucks. Rock to the beat, rock to the beat, rock to the beat, rock to the beat.